we have Windsor Dames captain Sophie Barnett taking the time to speak with the Windsor Observer. Sophie, unfortunately not the result that you wanted to start the new year. 34 defeat to Reading Abbey on Sunday. What was your thoughts on team's performance? Yeah, I know. Um, we'll just start. We always thought Reading Abbey, they're top of the league. They've been unbeaten. We knew it was going to be a hard game. Um, I think the score didn't really reflect the game. Um, we said, I said from the start, let's focus on defence. And I think the, t the girls like really showed that. Our defence was really strong. First half, um, it was nil-nil right up until the last minute, and we ended on it being five-nil. So first half, um, the girls should be really proud. We really held them back, really kept our own. Um, second half, um, I think it just slipped a bit, and Abby sort of um, were a bit too quick, a bit fitter than us, and sort of took advantage of that. But overall, um, you can't be too hard on them. They're a good team, um, doing really well this season. So. And Windsor did really well, considering the last, um, if you compare this game to the last game we played with them, we've really improved. You say it was, it was a tough match, was it Was it another part of, of the Dames' learning curve this season against, against unbeaten top of the league? Um, yeah, definitely, Like we're always learning, we've always got new players new, in different positions, trying out different things, so yeah, it's just yeah, another learning curve. And you've obviously had a very successful and productive 2016, you're in a good position in the league, what are your general aims and ambitions for, for the rest of this season? Yeah definitely, so say to say we're still in third position, I think we've pretty much secured that, doing really well in the league, um, chasing behind Newbury, we were playing in March, so that'll be a good game to end on, it's our last game of the season. Um, we're also still in the junior plates, which we like won last year, um, our next match is on the 5th of February. Um, against Chipping Sudbury so um, and they're not doing too well in their league so I'm quite hopeful they're going to stay in that place is and hopefully re re retain our title. Is that, is that your main aim or the main aim and maybe take a scalp one of the top sides in the league as well? Yeah definitely um, probably yeah, looking for the rest of the season our main aim is yeah to keep our, to keep our name on that plate and yeah give Newbury a good run for their money. Fantastic. And so, if it's some good news for, for one of your players in recent weeks, Kate Halley, who's been selected for the Irish national training squad head of the Six Nations. Yeah, amazing. Well done, Kate. Um, it's really good to have someone from such a grassroots rugby club um, going to like a national training squad, getting wins on, on the map. And it just shows that we can cater for any ability, whether you're new or um, a, a, aspiring to be international. It's really good news. Brilliant. Sophie, thank you for your time. <laughs> Take speak to the observer. Thank, thank you. you. Cheers. Cheers.